horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. the saints. That was a close one. Padre mio, he is masked. Oh, he could be wearing the mask of Beelzebub and I wouldn't care. He saved our lives. Everybody all right? That we are, thanks to you, friend. May I present myself? Don Pedro Miguel Hernandez Santiago O'Sullivan. Pedro O'Sullivan? We never hear of Irishman named Pedro. I happen to be a Mexican. Mexican, a red hair named O'Sullivan? And why not? My father came over from the old country. Taro, there are many Mexicans with Irish last names. This is my daughter, Conchita Colleen. Buenos dias, senores. Buenos dias. And my good right arm, Pepe, and my good left arm, Esteban. O'Sullivan. That's quite a famous name below the border. You must be the man who fought General Santoro a few years ago. That I am. And that dictator's been draining my poor countryman dry ever since he drove me and my family out of Mexico. But the people, they want Papa back now to lead them to freedom. And why were those outlaws chasing you? Santoro knows that once I cross the border, all true Mexican patriots will rally around me. So, he sends assassins to stop me. Kimisabi, them try once, them try again. Yes, Tano. Maybe we can devise a plan to throw them off the track. You have such a plan in mind? Well, I have, Don Pedro. Follow Tano and me to where we're camped. So you failed. You turned tail and ran. I thought I'd hired killers, not cowards. We was caught between two fires, Colonel Ortega. When that masked man and Indian showed up, we had to run. Do you realize what it means if Don Pedro crosses the border? A death blow for General Santoro and for me. You better figure out a new way to stop that coach, because it's getting closer to the border every minute. Do not worry. I will figure out a way, and this time you will not fail. Papa. Papa? Oh, Pepe. Pepe. <laughs> oh, Children, I don't know which is which myself, <laughs> whether I'm him or he's me. Faith, and that's the idea. Now, I'll talk to him myself. Assisted by your charming daughter, and make Santoro's cutthroat think we're you, you may get across the border safely. There's no time to lose, Don Pedro. You'll find the trail over behind those boulders. Chiquito, me. Papa. Here. I want you to wear this. Your silver medallion? Oh, no, Papa. It was you the people gave it to. It has always brought me luck. I shall feel better if you're wearing it. Viva Mexico! 
Viva a Libertad! And now, daughter, will we be continuing on our journey? Si, papa. I'm rather looking forward to it. Be off with you, lad! I want him to run that curve fast. hands up. Stay where you are. Devil take you, man. What's the meaning of this? So you're Don Pedro Sullivan, the great Mexican patriot. That I am. Now answer me questions. What are you up to? Colonel Ortega didn't tell us you had such a pretty daughter. You're so much as touch her and I'll break your half of me bare hands. Guns or no guns? You know something? I think you would. Matt, get rid of the driver. Then we'll take our guest to Colonel Ortega. Now, who's Colonel Ortega? And what does he want with me? Nothing much, senor. Just your life. That's far enough. Wait here. I've got to see Colonel Ortega. Senor, what are we going to do? Play for time, senorita. Your father needs time badly if it's to get safely across the border. All right, step inside. Pedro O'Sullivan, this is a rare pleasure. Is it now? For you, maybe, but not for O'Sullivan. And your charming daughter. Senorita, I bow to your beauty. I have no doubt, senor, that you do a great deal of bowing. And bootlicking, too. <laughs> well spoken, me daughter. I couldn't have said it better myself. You and your daughter are noted for your sharp tongues, Don Pedro. But they are not nearly so sharp as my bullets. And since General Santoro has decreed your immediate execution, I now have the honor to carry out his orders. Take them outside. You, you're going to do it now. Your father has always been admired as a brave man, senorita. I hope you can be brave enough to watch him die. You will stand with your backs to that wall, senors. You and your faithful servant. You will 
remain here, senorita. Gentlemen, you will attend her. But you can't kill them. Can't I? Just watch me. I will not insult you, Don Pedro, by offering you a blindfold. Have you any last wish? That I have. Will you grant it? I will. Well, then, if it's all the same to you, I should prefer to die from old age. I see that you mock me even to the end. Very well, we will waste no more time. Gentlemen, take your positions. Don Pedro will be your first target. You must have me. Easy, Toro. Ready. Aim. No, wait. For what, senorita? You have orders to kill Don Pedro O'Sullivan. Is that not correct, senor? Quite correct. Then you're executing the wrong man. That is not my father. Daughter, remember the welfare of our people. Hold your tongue. No, senor. I will let you sacrifice much for my father, but not your life. Senorita, I am disappointed in you. Such an old trick to try and stop me. You think I am lying? Well, I will prove to you that I am not. My father, he is famous for his red hair and his red beard. Is that not correct, senor? There is no one in Mexico who would deny that, senorita. Then, look at this. And this, is this truly his? So it's all a trick. But if he's not Don Pedro, then who is he? The answer is obvious, my friend. Did you not say that a masked man and an Indian helped Don Pedro escape this morning? You're right, Ortega. In a short while now, Don Pedro will be safely across the border. He is not there yet. There is still time to stop him. My men ride hard. But he's taken another road, Colonel. How we know where to find him? I think his daughter will tell us that. We can at least execute these two imposters. Unless you choose to save their lives, senorita. Where is your father? Gentlemen, forgive this interruption. Ready. Aim. When I clap my hands together, you will fire. No, wait. I'll tell you where to look. <laughs> Breach. Both of them. Shake these posts as hard as we can. Ready? Go! On your feet, Peon! going on in there? If you hope to escape by shaking this building down, I fear it will not work, my friend. Look what we found in the saddlebag on the big white horse Don Pedro was riding. A good fit. Yours, I presume? Well, you will never need these again. Do, do you have my father? Yes, senorita. Safe and sound for the time being. Oh, I almost forgot. Since you were shaking the building so, it must have been for a purpose. It couldn't have been to knock this off the shelf, could it? Take this outside. 
And this time, keep a closer watch. Ortega, one thing before you go. Yes? Don Pedro puts great store in the silver medallion his daughter's wearing. There's an inscription on it that means a great deal to him. I think he'd like to have it before he dies. Would he indeed? To Don Pedro O'Sullivan for valor and patriotism against the traitor Santoro. So he holds great store by it, does he? That's for Don Pedro's medallion. I have no right to destroy it. I have no right. I have no right. I have every right. In a few minutes, senorita, your father will be standing in front of that courtyard wall, as you were before. When you hear the shots, he will be dead. Senor, why did you deliberately goad him into destroying my father's medallion? I'm sorry, senorita. But we need a sharp-edged tool to cut these ropes. Pure silver is a very soft metal can be easily pounded into a sharp-edged tool. Senor Ortega has given us just what we need. Hurry, Kimasani. So, this time I have the honor to welcome the real Don Pedro O'Sullivan. Or have I? What's the meaning of yanking on my beard? Just to make sure it is your beard, senor. Uh, now are you satisfied? Quite satisfied, Don Pedro. Take him out of the war. Want me to put a bullet in him? No, no. I like his spirit. And besides, good servants are difficult to find. Now, Don Pedro, are you ready to die? Let's go. I must ask your indulgence, Don Pedro, for giving you such a poor farewell. The great Don Pedro Miguel Hernandez Santiago O'Sullivan deserves a more distinguished firing squad. But we do the best we can. Get on with it, man. Ah, but wait. Jose, pronto. We need you and your rifle. Over there with the rest of them. And now, farewell, Don Pedro. Ready? Ready, yeah. Aim? No. I will fire the first shot. After that, if you want a little target practice. One. Two.
Don Pedro would like to see you. Good luck, Don Pedro. You should be well across the border by nightfall. Now, this time, there'll be no one to stop you. Thank you, my friends, for me and for me countrymen. Gracias, senores. Adios, senorita. Now, that's what I call a man. Now, would you be saying perhaps there's a bit of the Irish in him, Papa? <laughs> oh, Jim, thank you. There's a bit of the Irish in all of us. But in him, there's a bit of every man. And a bit of him belongs to every man. That's why his name means so much to every man. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> 